I've heard you throw the word returns out a lot. Okay. And therefore, I want to ask, in my opinion, a very controversial one, but it is important that I then ask mm -hmm. because uh, the audience is also thinking the same thing. When people say guaranteed returns, mm -hmm. is that an honest statement? What, what does that mean? Explain what guaranteed returns are. So the typical scenario where there would be a guaranteed return is where the person who is borrowing money has got a guarantor. Okay, there is another party that has come in to guarantee that should this uh, product not work out, we stand ready, mm. okay, to make payment. And that guarantor has a balance sheet to match that. And you pay for that guarantee to be there. Mm -hmm. Are we together? I get it. So let's say, for example, I own ABC Limited. ABC Limited needs to borrow $10 million. I can go to a company like Garant Co., Okay, because they're in the business of guaranteeing businesses, mm -hmm. um, uh, these kinds of products. I can go to Garantco and sign a contract with them to guarantee my product to a certain level. So when I come to the market to ask you to lend me money, I'm showing you that I have a guarantor that is coming alongside me. Should my business not work out and I don't have cash, cash flows to pay you back, Richie, mm -hmm. Garantco will pay you back too. 85%, 50%, we have those products where people get a guarantee from an institution that promises to pay you back irrespective of if, the, if this thing doesn't work out. Okay. Now, when there's no guarantor, mm -hmm. nobody, including a government, can state they guarantee you. Wow. Because there's no guarantee. I get it. You understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, life happens. We've seen in our lifetime. It has happened many times in Venezuela, in Ghana, that's right next to us, where even a government has issued or rather borrowed money from the public and from international markets and been unable to pay back. Mm. So I think it's just for people to realize everything has a risk. Mm -hmm. Okay. And unless there's a guarantor, as I have initially stated, it's to recognize that there's risk. And the question then you have to ask yourself is, am I willing to take the risk? that this opportunity presents to me and to be awake to that fact. The moment you hear guaranteed returns, mm -hmm. most times it's the principle that's guaranteed. When you hear guaranteed returns, it's, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. Ask yeah. more questions. Okay. Ask more questions, absolutely. Okay, I love the fact that you've brought in a guarantor from that perspective. Um, we're coming back. And then now I then want to ask the question about risk because you've, I've heard you mention risk a lot. So let's take a two minute break. And when we come back, we continue the conversation um, about investing in global markets.